So I couldn't think of a better idea than to put up a whole bunch of pantry pasta recipes. For this environment, they're perfect. We all need to use what we have. This one has zucchini, garlic, two different types of beans, chickpea and cannellini. This little pasta, but any little pasta is, is great for a dish like this. So this one's called Papetti by Barilla. So zucchini, I'm gonna slice it up and do a little dice. Have a little garlic and coat the bottom of your pan with you know, a decent amount of olive oil. Get your garlic and onions in and just cook them until they're fragrant, a little soft. We're going to cook this for a while, so don't worry about getting the onions too soft right now. Everything's gonna soften up more. So we're gonna put the zucchini in and I'm gonna cook it around for just a minute or two, not much here. Just gonna just coat it with the olive oil. We're not trying to brown it right now. We're not trying to get any, any color on it. I'm gonna put some water in here, cover it, medium heat, and let's let the zucchini really soften up. I'm gonna add tomato paste in, which is just perfect for this recipe. Let's fry it for about five minutes. You always wanna fry out your paste for five, six, seven minutes. Cook it all around, let all these flavors absorb, let them all come together. And then, you know, you can put a little salt and pepper in here right now too, but you don't need to. You can season it after, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna continue to cook this. And then finally, after that seven minutes, get those chickpeas in, coat them well with all the, the oil, the garlic, the tomato paste flavor. I really want these chickpeas to soften up. They're a little hard even out of the can, so I start these before do, before putting my cannellini beans, which are much softer in the can, so I always do them towards the end. As far as chickpeas go, can are even cheaper than buying them in the bag these days. I got these cans for 59 cents each. You know, if, be, if the bag is cheaper to you, then you then obviously go for the bag. Pasta water's in here. I'm gonna let it soften up more, and then after it cooked for a while, we put the cannellini beans in. And now we're moving towards the end. We're gonna start seasoning up our pasta. So I like a lot of hot pepper in it. This is all a personal preference thing. Use as little or, or as much as you like. I'm hitting it up with some salt. I'm gonna add Pecorino Romano at the end. So that is quite salty cheese. So I'm not going overboard on the salt right now. You know, these, uh, these zucchini here, this is a regular green zucchini you see in your stores. The, this dish is often made with, well, zucchini is the main ingredient, but I'm substituting, putting some beans in here. You can start with pancetta, you can start with sausage. People start this in many different ways. And a lot of people will use kakuza, or it's referred to as gugutz in Staten Island. Gugutz, normally from where I'm from, that term is used for, in a joking manner to your, you know, to your idiot son. <laughs> but yeah, so kukuza is an eight foot long zucchini that grows down on a trellis, and that's great for this dish. So this is just a bowl of the beans. If you know if you're gluten free, it's absolutely perfect. Just to stop here, use it like that. But yeah, we're not gluten free, so uh, we're going to use pasta here and continue. So I'm not putting that much liquid in here. If you like it more soupy, add a lot more liquid. But we want to let this pasta finish off in the sauce. So I cook the pasta roughly halfway and I like to cook it in it for the for the second half. So it really grabs that sauce, takes on the flavors. Uh, the, you'll, you'll see the pasta, the color itself will change instead of like the, you know, it would just all normally slide off. Consistency of the pasta. This one could be a little on the softer side. Uh, normally with a pasta vizul, pasta chachi. I don't have a problem with it a little softer. It's kind of that creamy comfort food flavor. So we've got some basil. I'm just showing the roots. If you have basil like that, it will keep a while. You put it in a little glass of water. And I'm just gonna chop this up, finish off the dish with this very fresh. And if you don't have anything like that right now, you just use some dried herbs or, or whatever you have. That's the key about all these pantry pasta dishes. It's ready to go. Last thing, I just finished with a little bit of that great extra virgin olive oil. Hope you enjoyed this simple pantry pasta. I'm gonna post a lot more of them. Watch more of them. That helps me out more than subscribing. If you wanna subscribe, I'd appreciate that too. Until next time, see ya.